Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm Francesca and I work in the Ops and Gynae Department at the Addenbrooks and I will be chairing today's event, which is part of the Early Researcher Seminar Series hosted by the Cambridge Reproduction SRI. I would like to say a few things before we start. Uh, first of all, we would like to thank the volunteer coordinators uh, for organizing this series to all the speakers and also uh, Christina, uh, the SRI coordinator who put all this together and uh, makes the events uh, run smoothly. Um, as you all know, uh, the Cambridge uh, Reproduction SRI is an initiative that brings together researchers from across the university who have an interest in uh, any aspect of reproduction. Uh, it's easy to uh, join, um, uh, so the, the membership is open to all staff and uh, postgraduate students. And you can just download the membership form in the uh, SRI website and email, to, uh, email the form to Christina. Uh, Christina maybe um, can put the link in the chat for everybody. Um, so this is the last seminar of the academic year, uh, but they will uh, start again in the autumn. So uh, postgraduate students and postdocs who would like to participate, uh, please just contact Christina uh, and let her know. Uh, the seminars are usually held online on the second Thursday of each month at 1 p.m. And uh, the details of the coming seminars will be uh, on the SRI website. Um, so we have three seminars, three presentations today. So we better get started. Uh, each of them will be 15 minutes and we'll have question and answers uh, at the end. Um, so now um, please mute your uh, microphone. And then at the end, if you have a question, just uh, put it in the chat or unmute the microphone and just ask uh, the speakers. We now move on to our uh, second speaker, uh, Lydia Bueno Sanchez. Uh, she's a PhD candidate in design, management and evaluation of social welfare public policies at the University of Valencia. Um, she, uh, her presentation is entitled gender conformity and quality of life in heterosexual couples with fertility problems attending ART. Uh, thank you very much for this seminar series and thank you uh, to our organizing team <laughs> uh, for this opportunity. This uh, project is, and this PhD is uh, funded by the state program uh, for promotion of talent in the Ministry of uh, Education of Spain. Uh, well, as you know, infertility is clinically described as disease, uh, disease of the reproductive system def uh, defined by the failure to achieve a clinical pregnancy after uh, 12 months or more of regular unprotected sexual intercourse. Um, several studies worldwide recognize that infertility is a distressing experience that uh, may significantly affect Perceives levels of quality of life, uh, uh, effect of psychological health, and, and sometimes implies attempts of redefinition by searching for causes and means to reestablish personal control and satisfactory. Art is a complex process that can lead to anxiety, depression, social isolation, low self-esteem, and sexual dysfunction. A quality of life and its relationships to health and art is important because to understand, it's important to understand and describe the psychical, mental, emotional, and social consequences of infertility and art. Uh, other specific variables or conditions can increase or attenuate the psychological impact of infertility and art, social support and coping strategies. And many studies confirm 
confirm that there are significant differences in the psychological impact on men and women. On the other hand, uh, several studies, uh, gender difference have been related to health, demonstrating that gender is a variable to be included in, in research on health or social well-being. And in recent years, traditional aspects uh, such as femininity, masculinity, and the importance of a traditional gender roles in cultures have been explored in more depth. From this research, uh, it concludes that dissatisfaction with gender roles and feeling burdened dead by their role are associated, associated uh, with poor health and preserves per poor health as far as women and men are connected as well uh, in the infertility context. A strong, a strong adherence to or not confidence with traditional gender roles may cause mental health problems. So why is this uh, research important? Understanding how gender roles modulate quality of life in infertility context and during treatment may help patients and professionals develop coping strategies, different strategies. Uh, and preventing anxiety, depressions, and other disorders in the future. And finally, uh, to understand the prevailing cultural structures around masculinity and femininity and their relationships to parenthood. Uh, this PhD is a part of a bigger project carried out uh, between 2018 and 2020 in the public university uh, Polytechnic Hospital University Art and Polytechnic Hospital La Fe in Valencia, Spain. Uh, this PhD to pretend to analyze the impact of gender conformity on the quality of life of heterosexual couples is a limitation <laughs> in this study, Attend attending assisted reproductive technology uh, uh, art treatments. So, uh, <coughs> some hypotheses are the conformity to gender norms identified in the dominant Spanish culture modulates the quality of life of couples uh, suffering from fertility problems. Women uh, with gender roles that conform more closely to the socially constructed norm will have lower scores on first quality of life. Dominant gender roles in Spanish culture have a negative impact on the personal quality of life uh, of women suffering from infertility. There are significant differences in perceptions of quality of life between pa uh, partners with fertility problems. Uh, conformities to dominant gender roles modulate the quality of life of members of couples with fertility problems and others. Uh, this is a cross-sectional uh, cross study. Uh, the study has two um, samples, two groups, uh, couples in pre-treatment and couples uh, during treatment. The variables uh, of the study, of course, is uh, conformity to gender norms and quality of life. Uh, this current stage is analyzing data and uh, the dimensions are for social demographic characteristics, characteristics um, items about uh, questions social demographics have hope, infertility, infertility related characteristics, type of diagnosis, and math and mal, um, type of treatment, duration, duration of infertility in years, number of abortions, infertility time, relationship time. Uh, this study is a study um, about couples and women and men. Uh, fertility uh, quality of life. Uh, we use a fertility quality of life questionnaire, vertical, 
and uh, two uh, questionnaires or inventories, female gender, gender norms conformity and masculine, masculine gender <coughs> norms conformity inventory. The inclusion criteria are heterosexual couples, uh, uh, people over 80 years of age, couples su uh, suffering from primary infertility, adequate use of Spanish, uh, story of infertility, and asset to participate, of course. The first instrument is a vertical questionnaire. It's uh, the first tool validated internationally to access to quality of life in relation to infertility. Uh, it's composed to uh, um, two modules. The first module uh, core uh, <coughs> have four subscales, mind, body, emotional, relational, and social. And the second module is treatment, is um, have two sub scales, environment and reliability. Uh, all items are scored on a Likert scale, Likert scale from zero four between zero and one hundred scores, uh, higher scores uh, translates translates a higher quality of life. The second instrument, uh, well, uh, these tables are uh, screenshots of the original versions published by the authors. Um, it's a um, USA instrument validated in other countries. Uh, the two instruments consist of a uh, Likert type, a scale from a zero a strongly disagree to three strongly agree. You can see super scales, nice in uh, relationships, thinness, modestly, domestic, care for children, romantic relationships, sexual fidelity, and invest in appearance. Is the uh, female, female feminine norm inventory? Uh, you can see shampoo items. It is important to let people know they are special. I am always trying to lose weight. Others. The <coughs> conformity to masculine uh, norms inventory uh, have this case name: uh, emotional control, winning, playboy, violence, self reliance, risk taking, power over woman, dominance, primacy of war, pursuits of status. Uh, and this name for homosexual. And shameful item, I tend to keep my feelings to myself. Sometimes violent action actions is necessary and it's feel good to be important. Uh, in the Spanish version, it's different because it's an um, it have clusters. Some items are um, shortened and uh, margined. Um, sorry. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, sorry. Results. <laughs> the study is currently the data anal analysis uh, phase. Um, I do I do not have results yet. <laughs> uh, however, I will happy to. Uh, to show you results in the future meetings, and I'm um, currently uh, work in a first paper on this uh, PhD. Um, well, uh, this is all. Uh, you can uh, write in 
and contact me uh, by this email and uh, you can see more of this study and the um, the project uh, in the this website. Mm -hmm.